day. You made my week, my month. I'm telling you, I still got that picture because I was like, okay, good morning. Who is this? And you sent the picture. You had your bottle. Oh, on. I sent the picture. Like, I sent oh, your picture. I still got that picture. Yes, ma'am. I was in here screaming. I called Coach Green. I was like, oh my God, you will never believe who just texted me. She was like, who? She was asleep too. Oh my God. And I said, I sent her the picture. She was like, she called me. She was screaming. Oh my yeah, God, that is so excited. funny. That is so funny. Well, congratulations, man, because I'm very, very careful who I bring on this platform because my goal is really for people to know your story. And I want to understand your story on a deeper level because loving energy that was so amazing. So thank you. You're 57 Coach. years old. You have a 14 year old son. Yes. You're doing well in TLC. Yes. Tell us, you look, you don't even look 57. Thank you. I feel it sometimes but i really yeah thank you so thank tell you. us a little bit about now you're here you do tlc full-time don't talk about what happened in the video yet go okay back. Who, tell us who are you who are you okay well first coach i have to say thank you i thank you for this platform i thank you for being you i don't want you to change i ain't trying oof, i ain't trying to get emotional just yet i don't want you to change not a damn thing about you you're beautiful you're smart you are a visionary Look what you have done for people from all over the world. This is global. This ain't just a national thing that you've touched. You've touched people globally. And I'm t I would never change a thing about you. I, I pray for you every day and night uh, thank you. because I need you. People need you. I mean, this is just, I feel that this is just not a network marketing. Even right now, I feel like you are part of my family. And that is uh -huh. why when you did 1,000 Families, that is something that you are looking to help people like myself, not even just me, but people all over this world. Right. And when I tell you, Coach, I'm going to tell you this. How I found you, I found you on YouTube. Oh, I have YouTube. seen every YouTube, I'm not playing, every YouTube video you own, Dre Dillon has seen it. <laughs> that might sound weird, but I want to You see me with the ball head when I was fat? I all of it. Oh, Lord. That's good, though. That's good. Because I wanted to see you raw. I wanted to see you from beginning to end because I wanted to join you. It didn't take me no time. I went to skin tea. I got, I got my tea. This is what I need because I had constipation. I got my tea, and I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and join this same day. And then when I met you, it was a week later when you came to Dallas. That was God sent for me. Oh. It was a week later. So okay. it's, it's been love ever since. I am here for you. Whatever you need that I can do, I got your back. Thank you. Literally. Thank you. So I didn't Literally. even know that. So Thank you watched the YouTube videos. Oh, I've seen them all. My uh -huh. son, he was like, oh, my. you listen to Miss Stormy again? Yes. Yes. I love Y'all better take that... notes. We, take we need to notes. get back on, all of us need to get back on YouTube, right? Oh, we leaving yes. YouTube on the table. YouTube is where it's at. And all them hundreds and uh, thousands of views, Half of them was probably me because I, I, I'm i telling you, ask all my friends. They know. They're in the business with me. They know. It wasn't like I was stalking you. You know, I don't want people to think the wrong way. I wanted to learn you from afar. And because we didn't have this platform we're doing right now, I watched you. I watched you grow. I mean, that girl hold my hand in July. I know it was exhausting because you were live with us every day. Every day. And you were an hour ahead of me. I made sure... I had my girl hold my hand along to get my ass up so that I could pray and meditate with you and learn. Wow. And I so am wait. a better person. So, so, so wait, go back. You saw YouTube, you joined the business, you come to an event. Yes. You come to an event. At that yes. event, what, what happened? What, like, when did you start to get, like, everybody can say they joined the business, but it's not about joining the business. It's about getting in the game. Just because right. you joined the team don't mean you won the game. So it's exactly. a major, major, major difference. So, right. What what was it that made you start to do the business, use the products? Tell me about your fitness background, why you look so good. I am, like you said, I'm 57 years old. I had my son when I was 42. I was always told I couldn't have children because of severe endometriosis. I wish they had CBD back then because maybe I wouldn't have went all them years in pain. But I tell you this, being a personal trainer, you don't just get people uh, looking good on the outside. You want them to look good and feel good on the inside. But because I am a competitive trainer, meaning that people that I get ready, they're bodybuilders and they compete. 
so they build muscle. I'm going to be real with you. That shit ain't healthy. I said I was going to be very transparent with you here today. And I know some of my people watch me. It's not healthy. We know it's not. But these products that we have, I don't have any synthetic drugs in me. Not nothing. Since August, I haven't even had a Tylenol. And reason being is because I shared with you, I was addicted to pain pills last year because of my issues, because of bodybuilding, because I messed my back up lifting weights heavier than I should have been. And I paid for it. I'm 57 right now, but trust and believe, I have pain every day. And if it wasn't for Alleviate, that's my pain pill. I want to find one of your bodybuilding pictures and show them. Baby, <laughs> you got to go down. You, yeah, you, it's, it's, it's a different lifestyle. You know, it's not healthy because you stripping all the fat, all the carbs. It's hot as hell here in Texas. You getting ready, you do three, two or three hours of cardio a day. You, your, your fuel is low. And yeah, we put our bodies through that, but it's for a certain look. It's for becoming a pro professional. You know, I'm a promoter. I have a bodybuilding show. Uh, it was supposed to be May 2nd. And we could get into that later too about that finances because that was a big chunk of my income. Thank God for TLC. Thank God, because I don't know where I'd be right now. Literally. Yeah. That's big. How long were you a bodybuilder? I started bodybuilding in 1996. You look good right here. Thank you. How long ago was this? That was four years ago. Uh, oh. Four years ago. So you're a bodybuilder, you're doing your thing, and then you get addicted to Percocet. Talk, talk about that, because one of the things I think people don't know is that CBD can help to wean people off of, of things that they don't want to be taking. Right, right. It was tramadol. I was addicted to tramadol. And I didn't think that I was. I was in so much pain last year. This is just last year, y'all. This is just last summer. I was in and out of the emergency room because of my pain. And because I'm a vet, they give you medicine. It's just like, here, 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 whatever you need. So I was addicted to tramadol. And I was addicted to gambapidin. And I did not even come to grips with it until last week when I did that video. Because I was too embarrassed. I didn't want nobody to know I was addicted to pain medicine, me. And then you start looking at yourself. It's like, not that I'm better than anybody. That ain't it. It's just sometimes certain people look at you a certain way and you want to keep that image. I didn't want to disappoint anybody. I didn't want to let nobody down. I didn't want to let my son down. He didn't know I was addicted to it because by the time it got in my system, that was a way of life. I didn't have no pain. I still had to go to work. So I popped in pills every day, all day. And when I run out, I make that phone call. Hey, I'm, I'm running low and they'll send it to me. Now that's horrible. Why? Why would they send me that? That's horrible. But that's the pharmaceutical industry. You know, let's, let's shut her up. Let's give her what, what she wants. And that's why a lot of there's a lot of drug addicts out there. Wow. So so you, you, you realize that you are addicted to these pain medicines. And so what, what happens next? You decide to do what do you decide? How do you how does that become a part of the past now? Well, it was brought to my attention because one of my girlfriends told me, she goes, Dre, I think I'm addicted to tramadol. And I rang a bell. I was like, damn. And I said, Really? Why why you say that? She goes, Because I, I need it every day. And I can't wean myself off. And in my mind, I'm on the phone with her. And I'm like, girl, you can't get addicted to no tramadol. I was in denial. So, and she on here right now. She's watching. And um, mm. mm -hmm. we ain't got nowhere to go, child. Take your time, child. Take your time, honey. I'm listening. We listening. Thank God for CBD, because I didn't know nothing about CBD. One of my, um, my play daughter, Tyree, she said, Mama, you need to take some CBD. It was an off-brand. You know, I was, still, I was in TLC. It was an off-brand. She said, try this. And I rubbed it on my legs, because I got nerve damage in both of my legs, y'all. My spine, my, my L1 through 5, I got arthritis. I'm in pain every day. 
every day. So when we got alleviate in TLC and the CBDT and harmony, that was my tramadol right there. I was already familiar with it, but I didn't really know about it until you coached on it. Wow. Because you you were you were an advocate. You were a CBD advocate. You got your own business. You the knowledge was there. You traveling all over the West, learning, going into to different facilities, learning in the fields, learning about the the plants. Mm -hmm. I followed you then too, because I wanted to know. Why? Because this girl right here was in pain. I needed to know. So I started to do the research too because you were. Wow. And that alleviate, I put on every single day. I have to. Because if I don't, I'm going to be back in pain again. When I put that stuff on in the morning, it gets down to five layers of skin. It gets down to my bone, y'all. Understand me when I tell you that. And it only takes me three minutes, three to five minutes, and I'm good. That's why I'm able to work out with Hennessy in the morning. Wow. Uh, G.I. Jane, Mohawk. I'm, I'm, I'm able to walk for an hour. Because if I did not, I could not. I'd be in the emergency room, and then I ain't going to the emergency room because I ain't trying to get COVID. So what would I do if I ain't have it? I'd probably go back to the travel dog. Because, see, it's, it's, it's an addiction. But you I don't need, need that. To replace it yeah, again. exactly. I don't need it anymore because I have alleviate. I got about 10 jars just sitting there. That's my stash. And I don't touch them. I don't want, if, they, if we run out, because you know we sell out because we got it like that. Everybody want what we got. I need to make sure I got my pain pills in that cabinet so I can rub wow. it on. I ain't selling. No, I ain't got no alleviate, y'all. You better click the link in my bio. I can't. I cannot. Mm. I cannot. Click it. So you so you taking this alleviate, you taking C B D, you're weaning yourself away from this this these pills, and and now you still are a trainer though. You're still training. When did you tell me a little bit about you you talked to me today about that video and, and, and I don't know for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, let me kind of take you this this is a video that got my attention. Make that move last year, August. I would not be able to pay the bills in this house. Do you feel me? I would not be able to pay the bills in this house. But my online, maybe the house, no. But that's scary because people, when you are a trainer, your life is in their hands. Because at any damn time, they could say, I don't want this shit no more. Coach, I got to go. I can't afford it. And trust me, that's happening. I can't do this no more. This. The, the kids, this. I'm here to go on vacation. I can't, pay, I can't pay you. You understand me? My life used to be for 20-something years in the hands of other people. You don't think I got burnout? Now I got TLC? If I didn't make so, that yeah. move, oh my God, that that video really. Like, I cry really too every me. time I see it. Every time I yeah. see it, because I know the pain. And, coach, when I got on, let me tell you, I'm sweating. Jesus, when I got <laughs> <laughs> when when I got on, let me tell you the background a little bit, because you got that snippet, and I even told you that that T-shirt that I had on that said favor. That T-shirt. Favor is a company, y'all, like Grubhub, like DoorDash, like Uber Eats. See, when I first got on video, I had a black jacket on. And I did small talk. And then when I got into it, mm. I took that bad boy off. Mm. And I said, yo, this is me right here. Wow. This is what I had to do to pay the bills in this motherfucker. I had to go out. I got a Mercedes, y'all. I'm going out delivering food. This just last year. This just last November. Wow. I was executive wow. director. I had cut back on my clients because I was burnt out. I got, I, I'm just being honest. I'm tired. I was tired. I did it for 20 something years. I got tired of hearing everybody's problems every day. It's like people shitting on, and don't get me wrong, I love my clients. I love them, y'all. I love y'all. 
But sometimes it's like a, a psychiatrist. You know, you keep getting shit and you people keep telling you their business and it's bad, some of it. Where where am I gonna take that? Where is it gonna go? I can't flush that out. It stays here. So in the meantime, not only that, I'm drinking wine to go to sleep at night. Taking that trauma, so go to sleep at night, Benadryl, all that. Because as a trainer, you you don't get no positivity because it's all negative. All I'm doing is, is this, this all day. Any Anybody who is in a service-oriented business and you are trying to transform somebody's body, it's hard. It's hard. So when I start weaning back, I told my clients, I said, y'all, y'all listen here. Come November 2020, I am not going to be training nobody no more. I'm going to be doing TLC full time. Mm -hmm. I said, y'all need to get y'all stuff in order. So long story short, you cut back. That money was cut back. What's up? Christmas coming up. Andre need this and that. I went out. My girlfriend said, yo, I, I got a thing for you to do. You can make $100 a day. I'm like, girl, I've been trying to get you to do $100 a day with TLC. Come on now. What you talking about? She goes, no, I'm talking daily. Well, no, no, nothing illegal. And we didn't have Jelly Pay then. We, we didn't, didn't have Jelly Pay. We didn't, uh -uh. we didn't have it. But I needed it at that time. Wow. I needed it. So my ass went out there, and I was delivering food to people at their jobs, delivering food at night to people for their families. Y'all do it too. But they looking at me crazy. I'm driving up here, go a black girl coming in a black Mercedes, getting out the car. They scared. They think, who is this? This can't be the, the favor girl. <laughs> so I'm handing the packages like that. I'm humbling myself because I had to do what I had to do. Right. I had to pay the bills around here. And coach, I'm going to tell you this here. If it wasn't for TLC, even right now, we'd probably be out on the streets because personal trainers ain't making no money right now. Some of them doing stuff online and they doing okay, but they're not doing what they did in the gym. Wow. I need TLC. I love TLC. I love 1,000 families. I love you. So, 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 okay, so, okay. So you're doing wow. this food delivery. You're doing this food delivery. Your girl <laughs> tells you about $100 a day. At that time, in November of 2019, we were still offering you weekly pay. Yes. Uh, we didn't introduce daily pay till about two months ago. So right. you get this grub hub job. You're making this hundred dollars a day. You're, you're you're humbling yourself. You're feeling humiliated at the same time, but you had to do what you had to do. You got your son. You got responsibilities. You do what you got to do. When do you leave favor alone? And now, let's talk. Tell me a little bit about how and what happened that your TLC business started to financially make sense. You're regional. Congratulations, y'all. Congratulations, you. regional. Thank you. Thank you. All the way national. What's my yeah. girl name? G.I. Jane. What, what, what's her page? G.I. Jane. G.I. Uh -huh. Jane. Child, you know, I told y'all this this morning. I don't know y'all. It's y'all false. I don't know y'all names. Right. I ain't trying to pray for y'all. I be praying for <laughs> Lord bless G.I. Jane. They ain't even that lady name. Y'all better start telling me y'all names because my blessings and my prayers come true. Child, so y'all better text me y'all real names. G.I. Jane, child. What is your name, girl? <laughs> but y'all about that. to do some big things. I heard her on the live the other day. I was thoroughly just... Amazing. Touched. I don't want to say impressed because impressed was not the word. I just felt her passion. Yeah. And I love it because, yeah. you, you know, that's one of the things I love about my team. People that's really on my team really love people. Yeah. Um, so I'm grateful for that because I prayed and asked for that. So now you're in TLC, you're regional, you, you, you don't have favor no more. Tell us about your new life. You look amazing. You're home. We're all, most of us are home unless we're essential workers. We're all quarantined. I'm just, I didn't got used to it, child. I said, I ain't going outside. To Me too. Now. I don't even want to go outside, child. Amen. Amen. I'm right we there with you, folks. Open up, child. I ain't going. Me either. We st I told Andre the other day, I said, we ain't going nowhere. All these crazy ass people out here riding bikes, trying to go shopping and hanging out. And I'm like, uh-uh. Because, see, I need that first wave for a few months. You better that say first it, child. Wave you better say months. it. We good up in here. I'm paying all my bills, and I got a nice cushion that I don't even have to touch, y'all. So tell us, about, tell us about your new life. Tell, bring, a, bring somebody watching. It. You already know this is my page. So this is not 1,000 families. So I get a lot of 1,000 families and people that don't know what the hell we do. I get a lot of fake pages. People behind fake pages be watching us, child. Everybody be on these lives, girl. My lives be popping, baby. 
You be seeing Becky be really Bobby, child. You see Julia really be Jane, child. It be on my page, girl. But whatever, yeah. I don't care. As long as they inspire, child, I love yeah. it. And they be yeah. clicking the link, buying. So bring us up to speed. Tell us about your products you love. Tell us about why you look 40. Oh, and, and, and just tell us about what TLC has done for you without making medical or income claims. Exactly, because we cannot do that. Yeah, y'all don't get my company shut yeah, down. Hey, exactly. all you TLC cannot. people making them damn medical claims, <laughs> y'all better stop trying to get me shut down. Stop telling people that exactly. TLC did all this stuff for y'all. But go ahead, exactly. take it no away. Medical claims, no yes. medical claims, what I'm about to Please. say, y'all. No medical claims, okay? So check this out. I'm going to tell you about what got me to stop doing favor and start really working the TLC business. Because I was bullshitting. I could have been doing a lot more. Let's keep it real. You know? So I'm sitting up here. I made $100 a day, y'all. Took me all damn day. That car. That shit took all day. Hired when I got home. I ain't had no time with my baby. All day to make a hundred dollars. I needed that daily pay, so I did it. I ran them tires down. Them tires, two hundred fifty dollars. I had to replace them bad boys. It wasn't easy, so that's when I said I cannot do this here. So then Coach Green called me, and she was like, "You know who you talking to on your team?" That's what turned it around for me, because see, Dre don't like to talk on the phone. There's something about the phone I just don't like it. It breaks me out right here. We have a blackheads and shit. And then I'm spraying more of my CBD spray on it and, you know, try to click. I don't like it. And then I forget to put these in. And then what? I'm broke out. She's like, who are you talking to? Who'd you talk to today? I ain't talked to nobody. She got in my ass. I will never forget that morning. And she was right. I didn't talk to my team. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. That is my coach. That's my sister, my Sarah. Coach Green is the bomb. We talked till 3 o'clock last night. 3 a.m., y'all. I said, we both said we got to wake up and win. Bye. I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go. But let me tell you this, Coach. When I start talking to my downline, I got in my check match, and I start talking to my people. I asked about my runner. I said, who want to run with me? And see, that's what, that's what happened. People weren't moving fast enough for me. 